Sometimes you're gonna have bad days in the lawn care business. Other days you'll realize that you have some really good customers. In your lawn care business, you're always going to have to make some tough decisions. Uh, this happened to me for one of the first times not too long ago. I ended up having to fire one of my customers, let one of my customers go, uh, get rid of one of my customers. But this was the first time I've had to deal with this situation. I don't always know if I handle things the right way or if I say things the right way. I knew from the first day that I was there looking at this property, meeting with this customer, that he had high expectations. In the beginning, he wanted me to bid the yard. Then he also talked about wanting to bid his flower beds. I told him that this would have to be a separate bid for the flower beds, but I could definitely take care of it. But we spent probably 30 minutes walking around his yard, talking, getting to know each other. And this is something I like to do with my customers. In that talking, it turned from, you know, it being a separate bid and doing like a, a half day project, cleaning everything up and getting everything up to, to standards that we would try just doing a little bit at a time each week whenever I was there. I only ended up having this customer for three weeks. I only mowed the yard twice. Each time, I got a text message after I mowed it asking me to do something different. On the third week, he sent me a text message asking me to take care of the five flower beds. I texted him back and told him I was not going to have time to do it this week, that I was too far behind. Well, he texted me back saying, well, the first time we talked, you said you were going to take care of these flower beds. I then, in turn, texted him back and kind of reminded him that it has been raining quite a bit and that I had not been able to get there to get things done because of the rain and it had put me behind. Well, from that, he sent me a text back trying to tell me how to run my business, how I should have done things. Well, that right there, for me, it's hard for me to deal with. I own my own business. I want to run it the way I want to run it. And I don't really want anyone telling me, you know, how to do it. And, you know, especially someone that's not in the lawn care business. I kind of got griped out a little bit about not having those flower beds done yet. He ended up telling me that he didn't feel like I had a big enough crew to take care of his yard that I shouldn't be doing it by myself, that I should have an employee. At that point, I decided there was just no way I could keep taking care of this guy's yard, that no matter what I did, he probably was not going to be happy with me. I figured at that point, I would kind of cut ties with him and go on my way and have him go on his. At this point, he did owe me money for one mow, which I told him, you know, since you weren't happy with your service and that I, you know, am going to go ahead and let you go, I will give you that service for free. He did end up sending me a text after that, apologizing and saying that he hoped he didn't offend me and that he wanted me to go ahead and bill him for that last service that he did want to pay his bill. I thought that was very nice. I still have not sent him the bill because I feel like the right thing to do is to not charge him for that, give him that one for free. My worry with this was if I continued on with him and he wasn't pleased, it was gonna create that snowball effect that it was gonna build and it was gonna get worse and worse until he got to the point he was getting rid of me and 
you know, may have gone online and given me bad reviews or told people bad things about me saying that I couldn't get a job done. I feel like this guy is someone that no matter what I did, I wasn't going to please him. So I felt like cutting my ties at that point was the best thing to do. Now, did I say all the right things? Probably not. You know, did I handle it the right way? Maybe I didn't. But I did the best I could with the knowledge that I had as of this point. And I look at this as a great learning experience. You know, dealing with this was difficult. Making that decision to text him back and tell him, hey, I don't think I'm the best suit for you. Why don't you try this guy? So in the end, I had a little bit of stress about this. I went through some growing pains, but I feel like I've become a stronger business owner because of this situation and that I will be able to handle it better the next time that this comes up. So always use these things that come up in your business, uh, things that are difficult to do as learning experiences. Because anytime something is hard to deal with, hard to get through, you come out the other side stronger.